Then get this, right? I'm driving along, man. I'm driving. As I'm driving, I'm driving safely. I'm obeying the rules of the road. Whatever sign comes at me, I look at it and I go, okay. You got it, sign. Right, so I'm driving safely. All of a sudden, a guy in another lane, completely oblivious to me, he starts coming into my lane, just coming in. And if I didn't see him coming in, accident, but because I saw him, uh, I see, hey! Right, I see, I assess the situation. I see, I assess the situation. And then I, I eased on the brakes. I e as he's coming, I eased, and I said what anybody here says automatically when this is happening. You can't help it. It just comes out. Ready? Ready? Um, hello? Um, hi? Hello? Unless you're black. If you're black, it's a little different. If you're black, it's, uh, check out this motherfucker. Check out this motherfucker. <laughs> if you're Chinese, it's, ah! <laughs> So that's... That's nice. <laughs> I go to a car accident, right? I go to this car accident recently, right? Not my fault. This car accident was not my fault, right? But you know how it goes. Get to a car accident, even if it is not your fault. The other person, they get out of their car, look at you like it is your fault. Even if it is clearly their fault, they get out there like... Why did you stop at a red light and let me hit you doing 80? Why did you stop at a red light? Then you get out, right? You go, you start looking at the damage. You start looking, keep looking at each other, back at the damage. Will you please come and look at my damage with me, sir? If we look together, maybe some magic will happen. This is horrible. Feel this. This even feels damaged. Do you have tools? Can you fix this right now? This is horribly, this feels so horribly damaged. Even if I was blind, I would know this is horribly damaged by the way it feels. Then you gotta exchange the information, right? That sucks, because nobody ever has a fucking pen. You stand there, do you have a pen? I don't have a pen. Can you remember all my shit? Do you have a lipstick or something? A crayon? Right, so when you finally, here's what happens though, you finally get the information going, right? And you print your stuff nice and clean. There you go, there's my fa highlight, everything's nice. You give them, there you go, it's in an envelope. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nice. But then you get their information, and it looks like they had a fucking seizure while they were writing it. You're like, dude, you get a 28 digit phone number going on here, buddy. And under name, you drew a picture of a monkey fucking a coconut. What is that? <laughs> is your name monkey fucking a coconut, sir? MFC? Is that you? MFC? That's a monkey. That could be a melon. Looks like a coconut. <laughs> then you take a second. Here's where it starts getting embarrassing, right? You take a second while you're doing the exchange. You just look around for a second, and there's people everywhere. They're like building bleachers on the sidewalk and shit. People coming out of bushes. What? Accident? <laughs> I'm gonna watch for a while. Wow, they're discussing it right there. We love car accidents in this country. We're obsessed with car accidents. You know, I know you're like me. It's like two in the morning, right? It's dead quiet. You're in your house watching TV. You're in bed. All of a sudden, outside at the corner, you hear, ah! Damn it. That sounded like it was gonna hit. You always want it to hit. Ah, come on! Nothing! Oh! And then when you finally hear the crash, you're psyched. It's like, ah, where are my shoes? Yes! Where are my shoes? Have you seen my shoes? Fuck it, I'm going out without shoes. I'm going out shoeless. Right, you come out of your house, all your neighbors are coming out, everyone's coming out, you're, you're like waving at each other, you're psyched to see each other. Come on, let's go, you wanna go together? Come on, let's go. You, me, and you. No, no, you wait for the next group. You wait for the next group. Come on, we'll go as a team. No, no, you wait, you wait for the next group. <laughs> and 
and then you get out there, it's no big deal, but everyone stands out there for like two extra hours. It's over, no one's hurt or anything, but everyone has to stay out there. Even if it's hot, everyone acts like they're cold and shit. Hey, what's up? I just had to see what's going on. <laughs> and it doesn't matter who you start talking to, I guarantee everyone is having the same exact conversation. No matter who you get into it with, all anybody's saying, like back and forth, is, yeah, yeah, well, no, I was in my kitchen and I heard it, so I came out. You were in your living room, I was in my kitchen cleaning a dish. I heard it, I came out. What, you were in your basement? He was in his living I was in my kitchen cleaning a dish. I was really cleaning and I heard it, so I came out. What, shoes? No, no, fuck shoes. <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Listen to this guy with shoes. Ha <laughs> ha you. Shoes over here. And everyone always wants to be a part of, like, the police. You know what I mean? We always want to be involved. We want to talk to the cops whenever they come near you. You know, officer. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I just want you to know if it helps in your investigation. I was in my kitchen, and I heard it, so I came out. I will testify in court. I was cleaning a dish. I will bring the dish as exhibit A. And this guy, he was in his basement. Tell him what you told me. Tell him what you told me. That's not what he told me. He's lying. That's not what you told me. 